Well, you're clearly drilling. Yes. So I can hear it. Absolutely. Rick and Marty Lagina arrive at the Money Pit area to check on the progress of the probe drilling operation within the garden shaft. We're getting close. We're getting about three inches. Yeah. Oh, deep part of that. Right there at depth down to 93 feet. And they should be right at the point where there should be right on if the woods. Yes. Having reached the approximate depth of the believed tunnel that may lead directly westward into the possible treasure zone, the burning questions are, can they locate the structure? And if so, can they breach it to see what it may contain? This is good. Today is the last day. There's no question about it. Do must have to pack up. We have really only half a day of real active search agenda. What blows up and going on here? Something's binding it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll try that again. Go down tomorrow. Yeah. Wood would do that. I'd like to pull the bits and see what's down there. What do you guys think? I'd do it before we run out of time. OK. Yeah, it's a good idea. Copy, Rodney. Go ahead, Roger. Yeah, the guys would like you to stop drilling right now. Let's pull the rods out. Let's clean out the filings, make sure everything goes in a bag, and see what we can see. 10 for Oak Island doesn't give up her secrets very easy. No, no she does not. This is it. We're going to have to get whatever information we can get and hopefully figure out what this wood is at the base of the garden shaft. So I'm hoping Rodney has found something significant. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, Rodney. What you got, Rodney? Bags of goods. Any sign of any wood in it? Nothing big. Let me just ask you this. You were pretty sure you were on wood. Are you still pretty sure? I'm like 99.9% .9 sure I hit wood on the north side. Unfortunately, we didn't have a, a direct hit and, and able to get into the tunnel, but we may have come down beside it. I think so, yes. If we just came down on the edge of it, we can use that to project the line of the tunnel. Rick, you and I got to go down there. We haven't explored the bottom yet to see where the tunnel is. Mm -hmm. So let's go get suited up. I want to go down in that shaft. 10 years ago, or longer, we never would have anticipated this moment where Marty and I get to go down together underground in the money pit. Well, Rick, um, it all started here. And so we're going down there together, right? So it's going to be pretty unique. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what our takeaways are. No, let's go down the damn shaft, OK? okay let's, let's go. go. Rod, are you leading? Yeah. I leading. I'll lead you guys down there. We're ready to rock. Yeah. We're going to figure it all out right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a childhood fantasy, isn't it? I mean, Rick and I, 60 years later, are going way underground in the money pit area. And we're in a position that other people were in over literally hundreds of years and trying to find this treasure. And I'm there with Rick, who has been enamored of this thing since he was 10. And, you know, here we are doing it together as brothers. All right, big brother. I know this is really quite awe-inspiring. Yeah, really is quite a trip back in time. It's pretty amazing. Oh, absolutely. OK, we're running out of time this year, but this thing is not going anywhere. Oh, no, oh, no. You know, this is where things would fall. I know how Gary always says, things fall to the lowest point, right? Mm -hmm. If there's anything to be found in this shaft, it might be there. I think it's worth running a metal detector. Yes, but it also, what if we're five feet above something? He might be able to detect it. That's a great idea. And the other thing is that the coil he's got on there, you can immerse it in water. So yes. you could stand on the edge and put the coil down it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give him a call. Hey, guys. Hey, Roger, this is Scott. Hey, Scott. Yeah, we're down here wondering if you guys can get Gary to come over here. Copy that. We'll get Gary and get him geared up to go down the hole. Works. Yeah. yeah. With the literally few moments we have left is to get Gary to try and metal detect him. Ah, finally. We could be close to the actual treasure. Oh, Mike, coming down. What do you think, Gary? Oh, wow. <laughs> huh? What a ride. <laughs> oh, my God. This is 
Fantastic. <laughs> I have a chance to be the first person metal detecting down in the money pit. Okay, detector coming down. Okay, keep it coming. This is it. Standing next to Rick and Marty on these nope. thick planks and knowing that there's all this mud and water below me. Got it. This feels fantastic. And the whole right, scene around me it looks like it's medieval, almost like I'm in a dungeon in a castle back in Templar days. Just so you know, there's going to be a lot of modern nails yeah. and, and wire down, yeah, down no, there. No worries, mate. That's why I'm using my CTX 3030. You've got the discrimination bells and whistles with this. That's what we need, Jerry. Um, we're looking two different things. Rick's idea is that we are at the base of the old shaft, and if yeah. those guys dropped anything, it's here. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. And then the other thing is, what if we're close to some something big? Mm. You know, you and I. Yeah, <laughs> right. There's, <laughs> there's that, yeah. too. Yeah. So, all right, we got to move that board. Okay, right, mate. You and I do that. Yeah. Over here. We're over there. OK. The hole, it's two feet deep. OK. Well, where does muck this treasure, mate? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what's down there, mate. All right. Extend it a little bit. All right. Oh, that's the best sounding target. Yeah. That sounded really good. We know where the hits are, yeah. just as importantly. This is a non-ferrous target. This could be gold, it could be silver, it could be copper. Either way, it's a great sounding signal. Gary, you're the man. You're the man. <laughs> no, that yeah. was so much fun. <laughs> <sighs> is it possible that Gary has detected evidence of the fabled Oak Island treasure in the muddy soil, just a few feet below the bottom level of the garden shaft? Or could the signals be coming from the believed tunnel, some 10 feet below, which runs westward toward the baby blob? <laughs> you guys are grinning from ear to ear. As exciting as this moment is, it is also bittersweet. Because at this point in the year, Dumas does not have the legal permits to extend the shaft any deeper. And Rick and Marty cannot risk the future of the project nor the safety of their team by attempting to breach the bottom of the shaft to explore what could be dangerously unstable ground below. The level of excitement when he describes a non-ferrous hit, it's through the roof. And that's why it's so frustrating not to go after this target, but we're at the end of the year. I wish there was more time. Yeah. All right, here's the deal. We're done for today. Everybody's cold. Put this ladder back up. Let's get out of here. Tomorrow, we will have the final war room. Yep. The following morning. Gentlemen, ladies. To me, I'm not going to get real eloquent, and everybody knows I'm pretty shy, but I, I do want to say that, you know, every journey is a shared experience, and we have been on a decades-long journey together, all of us, and that's quite remarkable. Think how eclectic this group is, how different we are, how we bring different skill sets, different perspectives, different understandings, different logic to what is an incredible mystery. And remember where the journey started. That little five pages, that's where the journey started. And this is decades in the making. And then think of all the others that have come before us. It's, it's incredible. Right? It's absolutely incredible. Just give yourself a moment in time and say, you know what? I was part of something that was much bigger than myself. I just want to say that, you know, you guys know I get a little bit emotional, but I appreciate each and every one of you. I really think that we have done something together that is quite remarkable. I'm glad my brother's been with me and my nephew and Peter and <laughs> David as well. And Everybody, you know, the whole family has really been involved in this, as has Tom's. And so I, I, I am really grateful for the experience. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. No. We're grateful he brought us for the ride. Absolutely. 
What a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Rick, you say you're not eloquent. I would say you're quite eloquent, and I think that is a perfect ending to this year. I will just thank everybody again. Uh, I know everybody here does live and breathe all this, but for now, I think we're done. Yep. Yeah. And we haven't seen nothing yet. That's right, Gary. As they prepare for the next great chapter of this adventure next spring, will Rick, Marty, and the team finally be able to answer the ultimate questions and shatter the curse of Oak Island?